day off at work right now. I'm at the crib, dolo, solo, yolo. Don't mind me how I look, but I got hungry. And even though we got meal prep in the fridge, I want to try something a little different. So I think I'm going to order some Taco Bell. That sounds kind of good. I'm going to order some Taco Bell. And I know I'm going to do a dolo. Well, I'm doing a dolo because I know Bay won't want to have Taco Bell with me because she do not like Taco Bell at all. I don't think she likes it in any country, but she said in this country it smells like feet. So I think I'm going to just try it on my own and then get a little review in for you guys. So I got my little order set up right here. We're going to place the order. I'm going to go pick it up in a few minutes and check it out. All right, so got me a little crunch wrap action, a little crunch wrap meal, and I'm gonna try this beefy nacho cravings burrito. All right, y'all, so for some reason, the online ordering wasn't working. Wow. So that's why I'm outside now, and I'm about to just walk, because it's actually really not that far. I was just trying to have the order ready so that I could just go pick it up, but I'm gonna just order it in store since, you know, the internet doesn't want to cooperate with me. Supreme combo and it comes with seasoned fries. I got me a little fire sauce because that's my old, that's my go-to always when I get Taco Bell. Um so yeah, got the crunch wrap. And then I also got a I think it's a beefy nacho burrito. Because I wanted to try one of those because in America the beefy nacho burrito is like my favorite thing because it's only it's like a dollar or two. And it's an easy go-to. If you just want like something to fill you up for the day or for the lunchtime, you know, it'll do the trick for a dollar. This is what we do. This is what I do. Gotta take the bag, turn the bag into a little, turn the bag into a little tray for yourself, you know? Without getting too much of a mess everywhere. Boom, boom, boom. Take these fries right here. Put them in there. I usually keep it all closed up, but I'll rip this piece off right here so, so y'all can see what we got going on. Put two fries over here. A napkin action. This burrito, boom. We go with the drink. All right. Let's try this out, y'all. I pray over the food. Uh, these fries, they're definitely seasoned. They're almost definitely seasoned. 
This might be the most seasoned thing I've eaten in England so far. Besides, besides uh, my mother-in-law's jollof rice, but that's for another video. All right, what should I try first? I think I'm gonna try this beefy nacho burrito first. See how this is cracking. Looks like Taco Bell. Smells like Taco Bell. Y'all can see, got the patented Taco Bell grill marks or whatever, pan fry marks. Let's try it out. See. I'll show y'all. It's just beef and beef and cheese and I think maybe there might be some like Frito pieces in there, but they might just be not really crunchy anymore. Let me see. Hmm. Definitely a different flavor than the Taco Bell I'm used to. In America, mm. got seven up by the way, because they's trying to give me Pepsi Max. I don't want no Pepsi Max. I don't really want seven up either, but all the other options look kind of up. And I think this is seven up with no sugar. So in uh in Britain, a lot of their sodas don't have any sugar in them, or at least at the food establishments, they tend to not have sugar in them. I realize that this ain't this ain't bad. It tastes, you know what? It's just a little more. Let me try. Let me try with the sauce before I make it too much of a judgment. Ooh, lost some sauce right there. Fire sauce all day. The fire sauce definitely added added a lot of flavor to it. I would say without the sauce, it's definitely more bland. Um, it just has less of a less of a like a like a I don't know. In America, when you, when you have one of these, it is way more flavorful, even without sauce. The sauce just adds that extra to it. But here, it's not that it's bad, it's just less flavor. I won't lie, I really don't smell like feet. I don't know, it might have been just the bag. I think, I think honestly, it was the mixture of whatever scent this is giving off mixed with the seasoned fries. Didn't smell pleasant inside the bag. The aroma that was coming out, but outside, it's fine. It don't smell weird. And yeah, these fries is, <clears throat> oh, super essential. Look at this. I don't know if y'all can really see. Look at all that coated seasoning that's on there. That's a lot. That's a lot, especially for this country. They're good, though. I guess these are their version of nacho fries, it seems like without the nacho cheese, because it didn't come with it. It just came with a side of fries and a combo meal, so. Hey, yo, what the There's no cheese? It's good, yo. I polished that one off. Let's get into this. What I really want to try is Crunchwrap Supreme. Because as y'all know, as I'm sure you do in America, the Crunchwrap Supreme is a Taco Bell delicacy. So, as you can see, it's about the same size as a regular Crunchwrap Supreme you would get at any other Taco Bell. Let's see if it tastes as good. I'm going to go with no sauce first bite. I'm getting the same type of feel. Like it's like, it's not dry. It's just like, it's uh, it's good. It is missing like, you know what it is? I think in America, they add like beef, extra beef like flavor to things. Even like the French fries, they'll add like beef flavor. And I think they do it to the meat over there in America as well. And I think that's what's missing. Whatever that like, extra beef flavor like, adds everything which probably isn't good for any of us 
they don't use that over here. And I can tell because when you bite into it, you that's what it's missing. I don't know what it is, but that's what's missing, that 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 certain flavor. It's just the same. It's just like a a regular crunch wrap supreme. Got some lettuce, beef. I think there's a hard taco shell in there. Yeah, there should be tomatoes. The tomatoes, you can't see them, but they're in there. It's definitely missing like that, that extra pow, that extra like beef flavor. So I'm gonna put some sauce on it. Put sauce on it. It's automatically at least two times better. Without the sauce, it's just you gotta get used to it if you're used to that American Taco Bell. But I could bet my money that even though this isn't by any means a healthy meal for your body, I could I can almost guarantee this is definitely less detrimental than a crunch wrap or any any Taco Bell over in America. Because whatever they be putting in the fast food over there definitely takes a toll on you. Weighs you down. You just feel different. There's the tomatoes. Okay, there is some sour cream in there. It was hiding back there. Little nacho cheese action right there. Now that looks like a country right there. <clears throat> Ooh. That sauce is kicking. But that's really good. This is actually really good. Even though it's missing that little beef flavor or whatever I was saying. Once you get through a couple bites, it tastes exactly like a regular Crunchwrap Supreme, y'all. Like, I don't know what else they be adding in our food over there in America, but whatever it is, we don't need it. You really don't need it because it tastes exactly the same. And I'm sure it's at least a little bit better for you. Mm. Mm. dance when you eat something that tastes good don't lie we all do it a little happy dance i will say these seasoned fries over here at the taco bell in the uk i think they're more seasoned than the nacho fries in america like that's a lot of seasoning but it's not like overbearing it's like it's just like i didn't i, I didn't expect it to be that seasoned i think that's why it's a lot for me and it's kind of a different seasoning than the nacho fries. It's like more black peppery, a little more, a little more cayenne, cayenne peppery. I don't know. It's something different that my, it's my last cheat meal today, but it's the last day of the month. So we're about to go on a whole, not really a diet, but you know, just watch what we eat, especially after that McDonald's one, we did a McDonald's video where I tried, excuse me, all the UK, McDonald's things, well, all of what they had at least, and that was a good video, y'all check that out. Subscribe down below, comment down below what other videos y'all wanna see in the future. Mm -hmm. Wow! Ooh, ooh, taquito taco flavor. I know Bay probably gonna get home and be like, wow, you did a whole food vlog without me, but you know what? I think she'll also appreciate it, cause I'm doing it for content, I'm doing it for y'all. I'm sitting here trying to think of some new ways to keep y'all entertained. And it was also a good excuse to see what the crunch wraps over here tasted like. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. I definitely was wondering. And I knew Bay didn't like the smell of Taco Bell, so why make her go through the smell of feet that she so displeases? So I took it upon myself to just do this video alone. Overall experience, I give Taco Bell in the UK. Hey, I give it a 7.5 out of 10, final answer because the crunch wrap really did it for me. This just reminds me of the crunch wraps back home. And I'm not gonna lie, I am a little full because this was a, you know, a good amount of food. But at the same time, I don't feel weighed down. Same thing with the McDonald's video. I had a couple burgers and some other stuff, nuggets and stuff. And you just, I just didn't feel as weighed down. Yeah, you don't feel great after you eat fast food. You're not gonna be like, wow, I just had a home cooked meal or I just ate something super healthy. Nah, that's not gonna happen. But I will say the fast food in America, I don't know, man. I don't know what they're putting in our food. But over there, cook home cooked meals. Cook home cooked meals no matter what country you're in because it's going to be better for you. But at least over here, I can genuinely say there's a, you don't get that certain way down feeling of like, ugh. 
The Crunchwrap itself was a solid a 9 out of 10 on that. So all in all, you know what? I might bump it up to an 8, because the Crunchwrap was really good. I might bump it up to an 8. Finito. Dunion rings. It's a wrap, y'all. It's a crunch wrap. <laughs> but that was overall a good experience, like I said. Taco Bell in the UK, an 8 out of 10. Missing that beef or whatever extra flavors they have in America, but you realize you don't need it. So, like I said, whatever they put in the food over there, it's just extra. It's excess. You don't need it. That's probably why everyone's obese, but hey, I don't control the food supply, but this was cool, y'all. All right, until the next food review. I also did just realize I was kind of hungry, so I forgot to get a thumbnail. So I'm going to just have to use one from online. Oh, my God. Oh. No. I'm definitely full. I'm definitely going to get a workout in after that right away. So I'm going to catch you on the next one.